All right, guys, as you can see, this is how it looks from the kitchen window. It's pretty cool. It still needs uh, a bit of touches, but it will be a very cool beach-like garden bar where we'll be able to sit and drink alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages. And below that, there will be a pool. All right, guys, the first stage of the build is complete. As you can see, now I'm varnishing um, uh, the poles. In other words, the wood. I've sanded it down so it looks nice and clean. And now giving some colorless wood protectant. In other words, for it to last long. Then uh, the next stage will be to pull the electricity, which I have already uh here and i'm gonna dig it through up to the hut so it will be electrified there will be a lamp here in other words uh this is where i'm gonna try to fix it and over here uh there will be like a beach bar type of setting in other words there will be some chairs and or stools high stools and then a nice bar to have some drinks so that's the plan at least and on the floor there will be some gravel I already have two tons of gravel which I'm gonna move there so a nice looking beach hut already do is pull this electric cable and to electrify this little garden beach bar okay this beach bar will be just above the pool <music> guys as you can see this is the cable in a protective plastic cover and this is the way this electric cable is gonna move and I'm gonna bury it here since the hut will be electrified there will be a nice switch and leading upwards there will be light in the roof and the second bit will actually move out of the house and there will be a small light outside the hut as well which will shine on the pool in the future so that's the plan 
and let me show you the cable. The cable's pretty thick, but it's only mostly for lights. So here we are. So uh, please see our other films and projects. I have quite a bit of experience when electrifying huts and gardens. So I did it DIY many times. And you know, you need to know a bit of electricity before you can do it to make it safe. So this is how it's done. But obviously uh, you save many thousands of dollars DIY do it yourself all right guys time to bury the cable I'm not burying it too deep there are no molds here no other rodents the soil is very very rocky so this is as deep as it needs to be guys so in fact this portion is done I need some more to pull the cable through so I will show you the progress in the next section all right guys I want to show you the result of the recent electrification of this small garden bar and Yesterday I've managed to bury the cable and today I'm going to continue with the floor, which is going to be gravel. Alright, so let me show it to you. Okay. Let me show you the progress. Oh, there's some fog mist from the mountains. And it's a late afternoon, so I'm probably going to go work into the evening. I have some lights as well as a lamp which I'm going to attach to my forehead so this is the result of yesterday's work and you can see that cable has been buried already and here's the place where it comes out it's now tied to the pole there will be some lights going into the hut which I'm going to show you later on and here is how I buried the cable down and I'm well I just recently noticed that I need to add an additional outlet uh, or additional cable to this place here because we have actually two lamps two garden lamps and I've made exit for one so uh, I'm gonna place this one here today as well all right and afterwards is gonna be the floor so that's the plan for this garden bar for today and then well the gravel on the ground so that's how it looks all right guys as you guys can see i've connected the second missing cable for the second garden light so uh I just need to bury this and then I can take care of the flooring all right all right guys I've begun to make the flooring as you can see I'm uh, actually saving all the used materials all the scrap the tiles I have the scrapings and so on from the previous works and I'm making the floor more rigid than this is the first step that means I'm putting in the the waste products beneath then it's gonna be covered with a strong strong building foil plastic and on top of that there will be nice gravel so 
that's the way we're gonna work and you can see I'm crushing the uh, the blocks of cement here using this hammer like that just to make it smaller and then putting filling in those holes and uneven things in the floor so I have used some cement tiles some floor tiles ceramic tiles as well as those blocks of cement which I have crushed so and that's the thing ahead of me and well next time I film I will do the remaining remainder of the floor hello again guys today I'm gonna continue with the flooring of this garden bar which I have here so let me show it to you guys and what was made so far and then I'm gonna show you how I make the floor complete so yesterday evening I laid the second hand used materials that I have left over from other works around the house and I placed it on the floor it was raining last night so as you can see it was covered with some uh, additional things from the dripping water but uh, overall underneath the hut underneath the roof it's dry so it works and in other words today I'm gonna continue with the covering of the floor so I have some plastic foil uh, I have the electricity which was already made and it's underneath the floor this is for the lamps the outlets which I'm gonna fix later on and today I'm gonna continue with the flooring okay and the floor is gonna be made of gravel and obviously this will be on top of the plastic foil so without further ado let's begin guys for the gravel guys transported all the gravel as you guys can see I still have to even it out and probably today I'm gonna make the lamps on the outside all right so uh, the gravel is there it's covering the nicely the ground and then at the end I'm gonna level it out fully but before that, I think it's time for the lamps. All right, what we're doing now, guys, is connecting the lights, the lamps, the outside lamps. So that's why I'm preparing the cable so I can connect it up and that will be the front. All right, so the hut will be electrified again. And this is the first bit.
whole bunch of cables and you connect the cables right now for the lamp to work. So as you know, plastic is fantastic and this is a cool blocking material so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shove it into this pipe with the cable so it prevents any moisture from getting in there or some animals crawling through there. So that's how it's going to be sealed and now closed off with the masking tape or isolation tape. Right. One major problem with you guys may have is with uh, rodents and animals. If you have a lot of them, uh, then that may be risky. You may have to protect your cables your wires with additional um, metal nets and so on in this case uh, this place is more free there are no such animals because the soil is really rocky so uh, they don't live in this area <music> Alright guys, now the second lamp is also ready, you can check it out, I need to bury it now. As you can see, it looks overall it looks really fine. Now I need to even it out, the gravel, and we can move to the next part, which is gonna be the switches and the lights. All right, until next time. Hi guys, the works are getting there 
as you remember we fixed the lamps last time and today I'd like to show you that I've connected yesterday night I've connected the plugs and so on and the switches so here's one lamp the other one is also connected I need to level this gravel so it's nice and even and over here we have already the electrical setup for the hut and here are the two sockets as you can see and we have also here the switches this will be for the top light and uh, here is for the bottom one so let's see if it works uh, let me put it this way so you can see oh yes uh, make it yes that's it Uh, let's check the other one yeah so the electricity the electrical works are fine and here's the cable for the light on the roof or under the roof and just to level it out and then we can start building the shelves at the tabletop or desktop all right so let's get going uh, I need to level this out a bit. Just some minor touches because the, the gravel is already there. So we have a bit of it remaining just to spread it evenly. So, as you remember, there's a huge change from the time I put the second-hand used tiles and the bricks which are underneath. Now we have nice gravel floor. And this is what I'm doing. I'm actually evening it out. You don't need any tools for that. my legs are doing the work all right this heap is done now two more so this is a nice and fast way to set the floor you don't need to buy expensive tiles or do the cement tiles you can just use those stones and obviously they come in different colors different sizes different shapes some are more sharp others are round so you can do it according to your preference there are more red stones there are totally white stones so uh, this is a perfect choice and obviously you will not get the mud on your shoes if you have it done in this way if we just left the grass and it was natural grass uh, sooner or later we'd have soil underneath and then obviously mud so you either invest in artificial grass which is pretty expensive for a meter or do it the cheap way like we did with this recycled hut and well I must say it's kind of cool because this is natural this is not plastic like the grass these are rocks from a nearby from a nearby stone quarry and it looks fine as well so let me move the cable out of the way I need to level it here as well
there's some blue sticking out so let's cover that Almost there. Just a few more touches and we are done. All right, guys, so you can see the final effect of the lights being made. I've managed to connect everything up today. see oh yes so that's how it looks all right this is a nice recycled wood branch and you can see how I made the wire along the wood here along the ceiling and here are the switches so when we touch the top one, the lights go off and on, and the bottom one, the side lamps go off. So that's the final effect of the lights in the hut, in the garden bar. All right, so as you guys can see, this is actually done it looks pretty fine I'm gonna show it to you during daytime as well and the next thing I'm gonna do is actually start doing the countertops for the bar and some places to sit so thanks for watching and the hat the hut the bar is officially Electrified. All right. Hope you enjoyed it.